welcome to the OSRS podcast where we talk about RuneScape related co- RuneScape related content creators. I am Mitmat Gow, one of your hosts, followed by uh, Yeah, Rick sees uh buying some beer <laughs> real quick beer, right? before it closes, you know, but he he'll be back in like ten minutes. But yeah, and Rick's cool. I was trying to get Rice to do an accent for Rixie, but he just... He I mean, like I can try, but like, whole oh, Rixie here, yeah, but I can't do so it. Bad. It's too hard. <laughs> so bad. You know, I just sound like a scrub, you know? All right. Um, yeah, so we want to talk one. about death mechanics. They're being proposed into the game. They want to bring back non-safe deaths in RuneScape. It's been five years. 2015 is when they updated it last to where it's safe deaths. Go pick up your armor anytime you die. 2020 finally they addressed it man rice cup are you excited mm, yeah i mean i've been talking about like i guess wanting a, a, a way to punish yourselves for dying for a long time now so <laughs> fucking rake in the background put his shoes on sorry <laughs> <laughs> god damn it yeah man it, it, it's um, it's rough when his store closes in like 10 in an hour or so yeah he's trying to drink <laughs> with me on stream here should be a good time uh, but we've actually talked about death mechanics a lot in this podcast and related them to why people kind of hate the wild because it's safe everywhere but the wilderness. When it used to not be safe anywhere, anywhere yeah. in RuneScape, you die to a random event, I loot your Alks. Like, that's how it used to work, and it's it's been right. safe man mode ever since. And I do want to say that something like that obviously is, is too extreme even for, for today. Like, even for someone as... Hard, you know, hardcore players. I mean, I think that's too extreme today. But obviously, there are some middle grounds. Did you have reach. your shit pop up? You don't like that? I think. Uh, it's no, I mean, like, I think it was cool for the for that for the time that it was. But obviously, nowadays people DDoS and all that crap. Mm-hmm. And yeah, no, I agree. And yeah, and it's just not realistic anymore. Some some of the proposed <laughs> ideas though, in here will actually help a lot, even with the DDoSing. But let's get into why safe deaths were a thing. Okay. People, when God Wars came out, were just cramming their gear into the God Wars dungeon, grinding out every piece of armor. AGSs were like 50 to 100 mil back then. Armor was actually pretty cheap. It's more expensive now. It's weird. But people, I don't know, evil people, I don't know their names, would hit off certain worlds completely. Pretty, pretty much you all would the worlds. would die in God Wars. <laughs> yeah. And then they would uh... come in and loot all your shit. And this happened for... Did it happen for like months or weeks? Oh uh, yeah, know. dude, it, it went on for a while, like a month or two, dude. But uh, yeah, it it got really hectic when Corp came out because you know everybody was trying to do Corp, and it was just DC festival, every hour, every world. It's crazy. Oh yeah, and you know they had to fix it because the people who DDoS the worlds they were just doing it to have GP. They were obviously selling it. You don't have that kind of motive and not sell the gold they yeah, were out here them. trying to make real bucks yeah 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 it, it's crazy so, but yeah runescape no. and real money they gotta have some sort of implement right that's how free trade got ripped and that's how fucking safe deaths became because they want to be like no you're not selling this gold it's too they just and, don't want money out of the game and also the game was just not playable honestly because there were there were literally weeks where ddos was so bad you couldn't you couldn't even log into most worlds so and yeah, it was crazy. Like you, you try to hop a world, you would get kicked off most of the time, and you wouldn't be able to log back in for for a it's long time. It's weird how easy it is. So. I mean, I don't, I don't know if "easy" is the word for it, but I'm, how I'm easy it was, it was for them to hit off. Yeah, it was. Re- that Reescape's easy. a company. We don't talk about how expensive. It's like a three hundred, four hundred million dollar company that gets traded a lot. Like this is a big thing, and you just hit off worlds, you know, just because you're trying to make some side profit in real life. You shouldn't be able to do that so easily. It's crazy. That yeah, they I don't. Such a safe death I don't know if they can do it that to that level nowadays because, like, yeah, I know the servers still get DDoS, but it was nowhere. Like, it's not. It was nothing like four years ago, dude. It was crazy. That was some madness, dude. That shit was crazy. I'd love to do like a podcast on no like the servers. If I wish they I rec- ever had info on it. Yeah, I wish I was recording. I, I was doing videos back then because, like, dude, it was wild. Like. For real. Yeah, it was bad. It was real, real bad. Uh, so let's get into what they're proposing in old school. Mm-hmm. Uh, so pretty much they want you to die. And then when you die, you can come and get your stuff from a gravestone. But it's going to be a gold sink. Your money or your items that you're wearing, like armor from barrows or a fire cape, will be broken. Just like PvP mechanics. 
So you got to uh, refix those, and it's going to be money out of the game. Anchors are going to turn into cash. So there, it, you might die and get your shit back, but you're going to pay money for it. There's going to be a reason why you're not going to want to die, right? So Yeah. I think it's best if we uh, cover this you know, dev plot Jesus that they have Christ, here. Jesus Christ, man. Stop from, scrolling from, down. You yeah, no, from, from like top to bottom. From top to bottom. Because, you know. Oh, well, yeah, I'm going to see. Go it says uh, fire capes yeah. up there and gravestones at the beginning. <laughs> but Yeah, Mint just gave us like a, a summary of what this thing is about. But yeah, we're going to get into the, you know, nitty gritty details. So. All right, you started it off then. But uh, uh, yeah, so at the top is the change log. So that means they've already taken feedback from people uh, throughout the week. And they've already addressed some of these, but we'll talk about them later because, you know, obviously we haven't really talked about the original. So uh, we're not going to do the introduction. We already explained it, why why they had to bring, you know, bring safe deaths. And I think it's time that they uh, brought it back. So core mechanics for natural causes, right? This whole section does not apply to ultimate Iron Man accounts. Please see, see below. Okay, so there's a reason why, because UIM, ultimate Iron Man, they have to use the current death mechanics, or else that that game will is completely unplayable. Because... It's more like it's built around <laughs> those death mechanics. They don't have to use them, but it's yeah. Like you can't really play the game. Scores yeah, has used these throughout, yeah. so it wouldn't be fair for the future. Yeah, you basically can't play the game on on the ultimate without like suiciding and letting your stuff, you know, be held now, or whatever. This is a good question for our community, though. Do you think <laughs> Ultimate Iron Man should just have the same rules apply, even though it's been past gameplay? before should they just go with every update in the game and it should just affect everyone it's it's a good question yeah i mean uh, it wouldn't make sense to affect them because their gameplay is already aids as fuck true so so if you yeah, add it then that game was completely game mode right yeah but or, that game was completely dead once once you what change if it, they could so. do this rice what if it was a game mode <laughs> like an ultimate iron man extreme where you couldn't have the regular death mechanic okay i mean that would just be another mode right yeah, yeah. I don't know. Do we need another mode? I, I guess. <laughs> I, I mean, just less people play. will play that <laughs> even. Yeah. I, I'd watch it. You know, it's yeah. it'd be nice to see a ultimate Iron Man use only their inventory and not have all dumb ways to get items out of there. You know, I, I the actual way an ultimate Iron Man is supposed to be played. I'd watch it. That'd be mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So let's let's get into this. So uh, when you die to natural causes, such as monster attacks or anything that's not PvP, a gravestone will appear on the ground near where you died. Uh, well, they, they should also include mini games too, but most tradable items that you're carrying or wearing will appear on it can be reclaimed by clicking on the gravestone. Within a time limit, you'll keep your three most valuable items as usual. And if Unless you, you're protecting, yep. then you can protect four. Yeah. yeah, if you've enabled protect item, then you get the extra one. Um, untradable items will uncharge. If they have a mechanic for doing so, for example, a charge triangle would become uncharged for this retrievable contents moving to the gravestones. Okay. Uh, however, items that break will be moved to your gravestone without breaking. Similarly, ornate items would Boy, remain in are their you just reading it out. ornate form. How about you read? I'll explain since I've already read all this. And then you can just kind of catch up and talk because mm? <laughs> paraphrasing. What? Yeah, no, it's just, no, some of these... Some of these are, are not necessary, you know, the parentheses, so. But, okay, so yeah, you protect three items, you can get up to four, it goes into a gravestone, things will be uncharged like a trident, and things will break, like Barrow's items, anchors will turn into cash, you will lose money when you die yet again, right? Mm -hmm. You could even say it's worse than before, because at least before you could pick your shit up in a minute, um, but now your, your shit's just going to break, but you'll have some time to come get it back that's the only difference yeah i mean barrels repair fees is not that big of a deal honestly no it's but overall small. like everybody dying with a barrels gear that that should make yeah. some sort of impact yeah it'll just mainly be a gp sync for that stuff now because gravestones <laughs> and these other areas where if you die it gives an example um torfin's chest at vorkath i don't know the names of all these guys but if you die of vorkath or certain bosses you have to pay 100k to get your shit back that will be the same, right? They're actually thinking about, and it's later down in there, to uh, scale deaths with GP. So if you die five times, you pay a little more uh, just to kind of balance the gravestones versus deaths due to monsters for a certain GP price, which is cool. We'll get in that later. Yeah, basically, uh, but... they don't want to punish you too hard for learning a boss, but once you learn the boss and you're good at it, if you die after those, 
initial few kills, then you know you got to pay the the real price. Yeah, and even but, then, yeah. it's not even that punishing. Like for real, none of this is really punishing if you're a main player of Runescape. You'll you'll just brush it off. Yeah, it's more punishing for those noobs. Kinda. You'll see later. Yeah. So but... gravestones won't affect. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, this goes into gravestones on a PvP world. So if you die in a certain world, your gravestone will be on that world. You can't go on any world. So if you die in a PvP world, you gotta go into the PvP area and get your shit. Now, that only applies if you died to an NPC, right? If you die to a player, they're gonna get your shit regardless. But if you die to an NPC on a PvP world, you have to go make the journey, collect your stuff, and survive. I kinda like that. You can't just go to a safe world. Mm, gives yeah, a little more. Yeah, no, that's game. that that makes sense, you know, because it'd be weird if you could just go yeah. to any world. <laughs> that's never been the case, but um so the, and you if you see that last paragraph, if you want to read the last paragraph right there, it's kind of funny. Yeah, uh, we've not forgotten. Wait, let me see if this is. It, uh, it starts at a not... member. It's up there. <laughs> no, it's up there. It's the last one of that uh, thing right here. It says a member who dies in members only area. A member who dies in the members only area. Uh, and runs out of membership credit will not be able to return to the member area to visit the gravestone unless they get membership. <laughs> <laughs> Yoink, bro. So you better be, you better have that membership or your shit's gone. All right. You that, better be paying that, that $11. Yeah, that's just, that's just so like, you know, rare case, but yeah. I, I mean, swear it's going to happen to like 1% of people, but they're going to lose so much. That's so, so random. Much, man. Dying and then losing and then getting kicked off because you ran a membership. Like. It's like a punishment to people who do bonds because bonds <sighs> randomly run out. You'll never, like, it, it'll just happen. You won't even realize it. That's funny. Yeah. All right. So let's see what, what other things we haven't covered in this part. Um, well, it's talking about where your gravestone will be near where your death is. Yeah. So yeah, if yeah. you die, it'll be a couple squares near your area. But they also wanted to counter it that um, if you die again in Lumbridge, your gravestone's not just going to appear in Lumbridge with all your shit. Yeah, it's going to go yeah, to your older yeah. spot. So you die in Godwards, you come to Lumbridge, you die in Lumbridge, <laughs> your shit's still going to be a Godwards. Uh, they they wanted to make sure it wasn't abusable or you can get around or work around this mechanic, which yeah. is good. They yeah. thought ahead because yeah. sometimes they don't. Now, I'm going to read this one. We've not forgotten that gravestone and other runescape uh, occasionally lose items prematurely if lots of players appear... Uh, graves appeared in a small area since the game couldn't handle so many items on the ground. This mostly occur outside major boss instances such as QBD due to the number of deaths around launch day. For old school, we we would use a very different form of code to implement this update so we not be at risk of that particular bug. Yep, uh, that, so that's a good kinda, one. That's good. Is it talking about like if you die and you're a bunch of people? And there's too many want... piles. If there's too many items in one spot, it's, they would start disappearing. So they found a way to like code it so that you don't that won't happen if a lot let's of people hope. die let's fucking hope man Can yeah let's hope that works somewhere? yeah oh yeah. my god yeah i'm sure i'm sure they would they have Tubial the actual code gone. or whatever all right so the next topic is how long gravestones last so this one's i guess pretty big yeah they wanted so before gravestones or items used to sit on the ground for 60 minutes 60 minutes is a long time they didn't think that was going to be punishing enough so instead they made it 15 minutes. But the cool thing about this is it's DDoS proof. You have to be logged in for those 15 minutes. You can't, if you're DDoS, it'll wait and the timer will be paused. So as long as you're logged in in game time, then the 15 minutes will play and you can go get your shit. So it's a little less time, but you don't have to worry about being connected to the internet, which is pretty helpful. Yeah, and then they also have the contingency plan. Uh, the new duration may sound harsh for players who become accustomed to having 60, but... It balances the time uh, counting down only by your own life. The system working instance areas and protecting you across the reboot. We've also mentioned that we can move gravestones to the to the outside of the four Godwards boss rooms, since they're re relatively challenging to re-enter quickly. Yeah, that's that's a that's a good one because like there are some bosses where it takes a while to you know actually get to that place due to reasons. Yeah. So. But yeah. So if you die in God Wars, <laughs> your gravestone will appear outside. You don't have to get the kill count. Yeah, they're thinking about putting it outside for that specifically, but um, I hope they, they might. do because God Wars it feels like isn't even high tier bossing anymore. It's more like beginner bossing in a way. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of those noobs losing their shit if they can't get back in. That's really good if they do. Yeah, that. and and lastly, we're aware that players sometimes get a drop connection, causing a game to think you're connected. 
but they actually haven't. In these instances, we would aim to detect this and pause the timer. Yeah, I think that that issue would really just come mostly with DDoS, because like usually, you know, sometimes DDoS like literally puts your character in the game for two minutes more than you're actually able to play. And I guess other people have shitty internet that too. That that could happen, but that's good. Know, fifteen minutes. I feel like fifteen minutes. I think I do twenty honestly. Like I don't know. Fifteen 20, minutes. Well, in game time. <laughs> Right. I mean, unless you don't have any tellies in your bank, you should yeah. be. You, you should, should be, be like, you should be. But it's it's still like. It's got to have that challenge, though, man. You yeah, got to have a yeah. little bit of like, oh, shit, I died. I'm, I'm kind of fucked. Yeah, you know? we'll, we'll see how the servers handles, you know, the ability to detect people like losing connections and shit. Because, yeah. yeah, the DDoS could really prove this 15 minutes to be a failure, you know? This, this whole update, the so. back, the cornerstone of this update is just trying to prevent ddosing or trying to get around it right that's the whole point it's it's beautifully worded i hope i hope they can actually do it you know what i'm saying <laughs> i hope so too man the way like, the service has been i, I don't uh, know 15 minutes is is on paper like good enough but uh, you know it depends on how how the ddosing will change that you know impact it <laughs> Yeah. Um. So now we're gonna get into how do you get your items back from a gravestone? So your bearer's armor will degrade, anchor will turn into cash, etc. But that's not the only thing you're gonna be losing money out. You have to have money on you, or does it take it from your bank? I think it takes it from your bank. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll... But you have to pay money to get things from your gravestone. It's almost like Vorkath, but each item is priced, and it has a price counter down below. Uh, and we'll get into that. But yeah, you have to pay to get your shit back. Even more money out of the game. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. So, we actually we talked about it in the pocket. We had the same idea, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. Literally the same idea a year before this, right? Mm-hmm. Almost word for word. It's Yeah. It's it just the pocket? universal payment what you know, like idea is because like that's really the only way you could go about it without making it super confusing. I mean the way they're already going about it is already a little confusing for people. Just because they're trying to, like, you know, have it's some dude hold line, items. Man. Yeah, like, they're making it so, like, some dude holds items depending on where you die. And, like, items dropped on the ground depending on where you die. I still prefer if there's just one guy somewhere you got to go to for any death that occurs, right? Because then there's, there's no, like, fucking kind of guessing, <laughs> you know? Mm, maybe. Like, I don't know. It's maybe. just, it's just maybe. you know, it's there, there's some things in here that when I last read it, it was, like, Man, that's a little extra, you know. You're putting in a bit more of an obstacle. Like it's, I just think it's supposed to be a punishment, not necessarily be like, oh they, fuck me, you know. If they do it the way where it's always gonna be, you claim it from one guy. It'll have yeah. the money sink in there. But yeah, it won't exactly. really have that time essence in there, you know. Well, it's no, like there'll a, still be a timer. Back. There's still a timer. Well, it's but... gonna be always in one area, right? Yeah, exactly. Have yeah. To make a you could die God Wars and just come back here, <clears throat> save in Edgeville. It's yeah, yeah, really... yeah, 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 yeah gonna be a big thing i mean yeah they could they could do it like that to bring back that the idea that you know you gotta go back to where you died sure sure but i just remember reading some other stuff in this post it was like yeah it's a little it's a little extra but you know whatever i mean it's i'm long, okay with it's it it's a long post yeah this is really they, they went in um oh rakesy's back <laughs> hey hey there you go no. all right yo his up, voice man? might be hella loud so <laughs> We didn't. We didn't get to do a voice check. We're we're in the middle. We'll catch you up, buddy. What kind of beer you get? I got some Carlin. Do you have that out there? No idea. Mm, that looks nah, like a Modelo. I don't think so. It's just lager, mate. It's quite tasty. Okay. All right, sounds good, buddy. It's um, tasty. He says it's tasty. Delicious. So racy. Delicious. Yo. Do you remember previous podcast we talked about if you die, you have to pay like a percentage of what you uh, risk to get it back? Do you remember we talked about that? yeah this is exactly it they just took what we said Ooh. and they made it into an update that might come in the future see they do that all the time we come up with these genius ideas and then they, they implement it and Mod they don't Hinty. credit us they never oh, credit man. us no this was it'd be like a uh -huh. little osr's right. podcast yeah, stamp or something man for real because if you scroll down it'll show that every item piece is in a category so if it's like 10k it's, what, what's it say there arm a helm adds 10k the fee so um because it would be a percentage item, of that item yeah if yeah. items like 100k to a mil you got to pay 10k to get it back yeah and the oh, yeah, those are the thresholds right? yeah mm -hmm. yeah the most you can pay is 500 one mil to 10 mm -hmm. mil is wait sorry 100k to one mil is 1k one mil to 
10 mil coins, it's 10k per item back. So if you want your weapon fury, it's gonna be 20k to get it back. And then any item over 10 mil is capped at 100k. 500k cap for everything. Uh, it might be a little also too, like less. It should be more. But it's still it's a step I think five hundred K is really good considering yeah, the I'll most we pay. Well. Considering the most we pay nowadays is one hundred K, I think five hundred K five times that is pretty Well say somehow this guy dies in like you know. max gear over bills. Yeah, mama's credit card setup. For real. Like just bills of gear. Cause that's where we're at now. The fucking like the new armor sets are a bill a piece almost. He should pay at least a mil. Two mil to get a shit. How the yeah, fuck that's what R three that does, dude. That's what R three does. Fuck? You pay like a mil or two, a few mil. It takes mil. a lot of a lot of talent to die in three bill gear. You know, like <laughs> they they should pay some sort of fee if they're gonna die in a shit ton of gear. Well, I mean, it's relative to what you risk. Thing. Think about it. It's relative to what you actually risk, though. So if you keep a T bow, it doesn't it won't scale it because you keep that T bow, right? You still keep you're the right. top three items, right? So you're it's still only calculated based on what you actually risk. Right, so you're a PVM. What's like the best gear that someone would wear for an actual boss? I mean, they, like, let's say you die at Theater of Blood or something. Now, let's say you die at Raids. Either case, you're probably carrying, like, over a bill worth of gear. But you're going to keep most of it. Like, you keep the T-Bow, so that's already a bill that's not added to the math. So you might be risking a few mil, you know, like risk. Would you say like there's a, a inventory setup where you got the harmonized or Tivo scythe? I don't know. I don't know yeah, I guess if you bring you? that, I don't, I don't, I don't, really. <laughs> I don't know. Just I'm trying to think. And yeah. Then maybe yeah. You got wait, wait. Do you think that this would also apply to like raids and TOB where there's already like, a death mechanic there? Well, raids doesn't have a death mechanic where you like lose stuff oh, yeah, right. you know oh my god if they make cox raids this applies to cox raids holy <laughs> shit yeah. you imagine how much money will be going out of the 500k game. baby no i think 500k is fine dude i think it's fine because like uh you know we gotta get get the casual player something here 500k is a good compromise i was looking it. on twitter and a couple of the higher boss guys were talking about it but let's you know another community question man but should yeah. it be more should it be less yeah I i'm think, sure a lot I of people think... will put in Look, I, I think if it that. starts at 500k, it's like a good place to start, right? Yeah, and then, that's you know five what? times if, more if, than what we if get. If they decide that, you know, it's too low, they can raise it up in the future. Most I likely. that's win. better than having it too high. <laughs> right, so let's be yeah. real. If you die bossing in today's economy, half your bank should right? <laughs> How are you dying yeah. to bosses nowadays? Just it, fucking... It's just trying to be like... Bro, want to kill mechanics, dude. though, dude. Want to kill mechanics. I, I die all the time at Armadillo. And the punishment for dying at Armadillo is losing two mil worth of chin, right? So Which is it's like hilarious. Didn't you die back to back? Yeah, literally, dude. I, I like on the next kill because what I do is I try to pray flick. Yeah, and you fuck up a flick. Between, get hit I, seventy. One, one click, you mess up and you die. Like uh, you so have funny. to be perfect at it. So if most of the time when I'm killing Armadillo, I am not just looking at Armadillo. I will literally be clicking and watching a YouTube video. I'll be looking at the other screen. Literally, that's what I do. Because and I've killed it so die. many fucking times, and then because I'm being so lazy and I'm not paying full attention, I die. It's all my fault. Yep. So why yeah, why you lazy yeah, people? Yeah, why are you so lazy? Why are you so lazy? That's okay. Why? Why half the thing? Fuck it, dude. Don't worry, I've lost a thousand chins before that way too. Well, not look, really... not watching TV or whatever, but just die. I think people are go not going to be as rich with this coming into the like people are already rich. It's good. It's good. That it is need. good. It's yeah. really good. I think it's going to be harder uh, for people Rice. to make money who haven't already. Racy screen has a little quick. There you go. Yeah, no, I have to adjust the volume, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, we're so, talking about chin yeah. stories, man. I got to just... I had 7,000 right. okay, gray chins. And someone played this fucking distorted song, and I panicked. And I was low <laughs> HP, and I walked over to Spikes, and I died. <laughs> Wait, have you what? Ever died spikes? The spikes? What spikes you want about? In Monkey Madness, I was up pure. I, I just had half finished Monkey Madness quest. <laughs> <laughs> I was so tilted for like two hours. I was like, "You son of a bitch, playing that shit song." He's like, "Don't get mad at me. You're the one who spikes. Like, Fuck you." <laughs> Ban the guy. <laughs> no, 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 he was cool. Was All right, yo. Yeah. Okay, so here's one for the. This one's controversial. To be honest with you, they said they're saying for Iron Man accounts. The fee should be reduced by fifty percent. So are we only pay two fifty k. I think that's bullshit, bro. The, what are they uh, doing with their money anyways? Uh, Fucking like, Curtis uh, got a bill. Yeah, Fucking no, no. Music. I mean, look, <laughs> th this makes no sense because the whole point of playing Iron Man mode is to have it harder. 
You shouldn't you change the exactly. update. Yeah, you shouldn't even get your right. No, no, you it should. should. Like you obviously, you should. should be but, like roll, right? but like, roll. but like, updates shouldn't be like changed <laughs> to, to because you know what I mean. Like, it doesn't make any Dude, sense. It actually doesn't make sense for yeah. men to have graves in the first place because they stand alone. They have no family. They have no friends. Uh, yeah, what? No, 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 nobody is gonna remember them. The grave. <laughs> it, it realistically, it shouldn't happen. There should be no grave. They should just lose their items. All right, that's a little fucked. Simple. But no. No, no, seriously. So, like a letter off their they need to, they, they need to get. Yeah, there should be like a little in memory of, and you can maybe get nah, a, yeah, one yeah. item back, one item back of everything you lost. Just one. Can you imagine? Yo, 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 check this out. All right, gravestone, and then it has like a little. Lock. That's so true, and dude. And you just go, ding, and it so rolls true. throughout your items. And it's like with gods or gods or gods. Nah, or they're just, it, it, dude, it's <laughs> like the Counter Strike cap. Yo, just skins fake. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. fuck it, fuck it. Just go. Just go one step further. Just do the whole Thanos, you know, fucking everything dissolves into particles. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah, so oh, like when you're going to the grave, it just like dissolves when you're touching. And then like your it, RNG you gets halved too, like for the first <laughs> ten hours, you can't get anything. All right, it'd be brilliant. Okay, real talk though, like I, they need to get rid of this fifty percent shit. It should be the normal fee. There's like, some like Iron Man lovers on the J Mods team. Like who the hell is playing an Iron Man who does this? That needs like, all these bro, updates? they're just devaluing the fuck out of Iron Man. Please stop with that. Wait, just do the normal up. fee. Normal fee. You're kidding. Wait, no, wait, no, this, no this joke. is actually going through. No, there I mean this I don't know if it's proposed, going through. Crazy. This, this is something proposed. yeah. This is what they want. Yeah, wait, we gotta sorry, criticize them. For iron accounts including hardcore iron accounts, the total fee would be reduced by fifty percent to reflect the relative difficulty of Why the even... bullshit. Yeah, what? exactly. No, get rid of that shit. Yes. They die, their cash should be deleted. <laughs> I, I, on, on a real serious note now, it's not to be an asshole to the RMN community or anything like that. No, I think they even... across, it should be fair across the board also. If you're playing a hardcore, like, if you die on your hardcore, you don't give a shit about the money. You care about your status. Yeah. A lot of you right? don't. And if you die on an Iron Man, regardless, it's like, well, why should it be half? Yeah, no, right, it shouldn't be half. No, it should like, not Rixie, be half. If you ask like the top tier Iron Man, I'm sure they would agree too. I wonder if it's just like the lower tier lobster catching. Uh, no, it's just like the some of the J mods don't really have a proper like you know. I'm not gonna say all the J mods, but some of them don't have a proper understanding of like the culture yeah, of. Rixie, bro, these J mods. Yeah, I'm never yeah. getting my RuneScape shirt. No, no, I'm not. I don't know who is the one that thought this was a good idea. I just Yo, don't think it's the. Good idea. Do you don't have your RuneScape shirt, Ray? Huh? My I RuneScape don't. shirt? I do. Uh, I, I mean, I it's thought, it's somewhere. Mate, I, I have, like, so many of them now. I've got a bunch of old ones. My most recent one, my girlfriend uses as a pajama top. Oh. I'm just like, I don't, I don't want it. You can have it. Wait. Yeah, one of the many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, haven't, they haven't even sent me one. Like, I want one with my name on it, but fuck, I'll take one without my name on it, dude. Fucking give me one with someone else's name on it. Dude, uh, <laughs> look, yeah, send it over. Every, every single Racy year, it. Spark Mac gets a t-shirt and hoodie made for him at RuneFest. They don't and he know never I comes. exist. I ain't never seen it. Years. Dude, I'll I'll smack it. Yeah, the little spark mech will be streaming every time we turn around. It just I, says Mac on it. <laughs> I, I remember this year when I went to pick up my uh, my T-shirt and hoodie. I saw his hoodie was right next to mine, and I almost took it. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, Nah, I'm not gonna be that guy. But then I saw later on that I think uh, Framed Jimmy and maybe C Engineer took the hoodie, which was Spark Max. Fair play to him. I should I should have taken it, but I was like, I don't want to not be invited to this event in the future. Yeah. By being like, you know, an idiot. So yeah, like, yeah. So you throw him under the bus. <laughs> oh no, they posted it on Twitter. Oh, okay. There's pictures all over Twitter of it. They just took it and like, yeah, framed themselves. That's funny. Um, <laughs> dude, next time you're there, put it, you know, where's my man Cal? I'll grab you. I'll grab yeah. you somebody's hoodie and t-shirt. I want them to think of me when they make it, though. We need to start a movement. Minty needs his shirt. Man. All right. I want to be like 50 years old playing RuneScape. They still haven't tweeted me back. Fuck, dude. Right, the the most underrated you, PK. You get their attention by making a full-blown video, just talking about, about your... a shirt. Jagex, give me attention. Like that'd be your the best time yeah, ever. Your general like discomfort and upsetness. Uh, Jagex dot dot dot. I don't I, know what the word is. Jagex. We'll do one of those dot. stories where I write on a board and I'll tell a really <laughs> sad story at the end. It's like, <laughs> and then all I want is a shirt, and it just goes into darkness. It'd be beautiful. Mm. Beautiful. You're never, we... gonna, you're never getting a shirt. No, I'm not getting a shirt. Not <laughs> There's getting somebody shit. Like, just telling Jagex, don't give Mint his shirt. I barely, <laughs> I barely get a wave when I see the J. <laughs> you better right. get a uh, better get a what? A wave. <laughs> what like, have you hey, done, like, dude? What what have you done? Surely they know who you are. One time. All right, sorry, we're a little out of 
one little story and then we'll jump back one more story one more one more little story so at the first twitchcon ever or was it the second one runescape had a q a room where they were everyone sitting down they were live streaming it and uh you know they were talking and having questions being asked and i i got the courage to ask one question right because i was pretty i'm pretty peeved at how shitty the wildy was and this was way better than it is now right i, I felt like it was dying so i'm like uh do you guys have any are you gonna punish people being toxic right is there gonna be any plans to Dude, save I saw the wild clip. i saw the clip on youtube it was hilarious i think they all hate me because of that because i talked about the toxicity <laughs> did, in the wild get... Dude, did you get booed or was there just like laughed? I can't remember. Something there was no happened. boo. There was no boo. It was just like a Silence. real question. And then I think uh, one of the J mods afterwards, I was trying to get a ticket to the after party. I was like, hey, could I get one for Sunday? You know, I, you know, I'm here, right? Or I'm just gonna leave early. He's like, well, I don't know. You were pretty harsh to us in the Q and A. Like, really? <laughs> I asked one fucking question, dude. I feel like that's why. And that's yeah, maybe. And that guy, ago, dude. and that guy's always been like, "Don't, don't give him anything." Like for real. So wait, wait. <laughs> I kind of remember the clip. You're basically saying for those people that were stream, was it stream sniping or people that are just yeah. toxic in general? Everything, everything, man. The Wilby needs everything. I was okay. now. I just I fucking let it go because I don't want to fucking get shunned again. I just why, why care? You know why care? Well, listen, if it's something that, like, really upsets you, you make a fucking video about it, addressing it, and show that you're upset because of it. Like, be genuine, be honest. If it actually is something, like, if I was in your position, it would actually upset me, because I'd be like, I'm making content for these guys for years. I've never been recognized. I may have done something stupid or questionable in the past. And I just tell the entire story, dude. And then hope that somebody sees it. Or, like, if, if you make it compelling and you actually care, like, I'm sure that it will get to the J mods and they'll be like, okay, we can see that he's not an actual tool. Like, he's actually an all right dude. We're going to send him a t shirt this year. Like, seriously, do Maybe. it. Maybe. Also, live in the if UK. If you care that much, you should definitely do it. It's, it's one of those things that's like, you know, I got a community base now. I just want to get content for them. I kind of just gave up on that whole thing. Sounds, sounds like a lot of work. Yeah. Well, thank yeah. you, bro. Don't, don't worry, it. man. They will recognize you. At some point. When I'm 50. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, sorry about that, viewers. Let's <laughs> back it's got Fenty yo, story. Yo, like the video for sympathy. <laughs> oh, violin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Where, uh, where were we? That's my bad. <clears throat> death coffer. Yeah. You should be taken from a death coffer or directly from the bank. So that's how you get your gold. So it does take it from the bank or mm -hmm. a coffer. If you want to this will be there. a great GP sink. This might actually yeah. dent all the gargoyle farms and like rune dragon farms. Let's hope. This might Let's dent hope, it. Man. <laughs> yeah. Now, also, all these items do go to your grave except for supplies. They're going to be on the floor. I don't know if it's next to your grave or somewhere near yeah, it. But in case you died in a really PvP or sorry, PvM situation, you can have your food there just in case so you don't yeah. reset again. Because remember, 15 minutes or it's wiped. You're gone. Yeah, so um, a big reason why they also do that is because uh, some people use the suicide method to, to do bosses so they can, like, you know, oh, drop yes. a bajillion I pieces. This would actually ruin that method, but this, they yeah, do work their way around it. Which yeah, is that's nice. kind of like why. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of the fact that people you know suicide i mean i've done it before with court back in the day now it's kind of pointless for like most people wouldn't do that but like yeah it's just like i don't know i think it's a cheesy mechanic like suiciding so you drop like five inventories what's, food what's not cheesy mechanics in runescape no though, but like you know it's I mean? not skill though that 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 has no skill you just go in and you die it's <laughs> not skill bro <laughs> I, no, I know but like for the bossing aspect like it just doesn't no, you, enhance you. like this the bossing you know what i mean skill gap or anything it's just like Okay, I'll suicide five inventories so I can stay five times longer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, or like ten times longer because like you can suicide with the looting bag too, and it and so, it, it, it like doubles the food per inventory. Have you guys discussed the cat airs? Uh, oh, oh ab after God. this, We're maybe. Gonna, if you have yeah, time. we'll jump into it after the. I was okay. trying to get Rice to get a little, but he the uh, we'll be talking about this for a while. The death mechanics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll get fair, this. Fair enough. We'll get the so, big boy done. With these death mechanics, I don't know if I missed it. What happens to all my Iron Men? Because they like suicide all the yeah, time. Yeah, no, they don't change. It doesn't change for them. Oh, really? So it's the same old stuff. Yeah, because if they changed it, then Ultimate Iron Man is not playable anymore. That game was like oh. dead. That game was completely dead if they uh, change it. Interesting. So, the okay, only that's, people that's not cool. getting affected will be Ultimates. Yeah. 
Yeah, because like you can't really do bossing and like skilling at that at a decent, even a remotely Look, decent level. Racy, would suicide, you not watch so. like an Ultimate Iron Man with these mechanics though? Wouldn't that be sick? Yeah, I we're thinking make a new mode. I don't mode. think they'd be able to do anything. Dude. <laughs> yeah. like, that like, would honestly, be awesome. Think, they they'd probably just have to drop their entire inventory every it's time. Like a whole different meta. Like yeah. settle, you probably settle would never series, hold right? on anything. Settle doesn't have anywhere he could like store items. Yeah, but it takes some, it, but it takes them like two hundred hours to do one little thing, you know. Dude, so. Settle's gonna have to hurry up and. Oh no, actually, is Settle's account actually an Ultimate Iron Man? Yeah, yeah, it is, but like. Oh, okay, I've never really paid that close attention. Well, the thing is, regular yeah. account. In Mortania, there's nowhere to hold his items, so he does, like, it's completely legit Ultimate Iron Man. He doesn't have his mechanics, or it doesn't look like he does it. So, people can do it. If he can do I, it I in think, Mortania. I mean, I think that Settled swaps stuff from his main account to a. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just going to throw it out there. I'm pretty sure yeah. he buys his shit off the team, but, yeah. I mean, uh, there's just, they're just not much you can do for a regular player. You, you just be kind of fucked, so. Well, regular players shouldn't play Ultimate Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, it'll be just 10 people playing the Ultimate Iron Man mode after that update. <laughs> I'm just glad they're doing something. 10 YouTube series. <laughs> I'm really glad they're doing something. And I think 500k is a really good stepping stone. And it might work out to be great. I'd love to know if it is 500k, like, in the first month, how yeah. much gold left the game. Oh, That's, yeah. like, stuff that what? I would love to know. Here's something I want to know. Go up and... Oh, you go, race. Yeah, okay. here's something I really need to know. Because... You know, we always say, oh, yeah, man, uh, GP sync, they're good and stuff. But, like, we don't have anything to compare it to. Like, we don't actually know how much GP is in the game. And we don't actually know how much GP leaves the game. You know what I'm saying? We don't actually know how many GP enters the game on a daily basis and how many GP leaves the game. In a you want it tracked? I think my... Because if we I'm know, like, let's say, for example, right? Like, let, let's just say we, we are given the numbers. Let's say there's one trillion gold in the game. And, and like, every year we... It goes up like twofold, threefold, because of like new updates where it drops a bunch of you know alcohols or whatever, right? Like if we know how crazy it is, then we can kind of see whether or not certain GP things are kind of needed, right? Does that make sense? Like let's say let's say one like let's say two hundred one hundred mil no one no let's say fifty bill enters the game a day because of gargoyles and like rune dragons, but only mm -hmm. twenty bill leaves the game because of you know GP things. Right, that means we every day we would get thirty billion GP into the game's economy, right? Every day. Would hardcore mergers be able to do something with that info? Nah, I don't, they they I don't think they would know. I don't think they would know because the only way to track it would be through RuneScape, so, like the actual game, right? right? What if they? Because like, like if I know how well, I could. I yeah, because like if I know how severe, like in terms of how much GP net GP makes it into the game every day, then we can like justify a lot of different types of GP really? things, right? I've got yes. a genuine question for yeah. you, right? Yeah. So right now, this moment, if they were to, <laughs> like, say, look, we can pull the trigger on stopping, like, Gargoyles, Zara Vorkask, taking all of the alcohol drops off the table and just leaving the uniques, and they're like, we can do this right now. Um, do you think that that would allow RuneScape, old school RuneScape, the economy and the game just to last longer? Yeah. That oh yeah, for sure. Cause like the inflation would slow down a lot. Wait, wait, so he's right. If, What'd you say? They take out all the uniques? They no, 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 so they if, if they the were affected, to, yeah. if they could literally right now pull the trigger and be like every boss in the game that has alcohols. Well, mainly gar it's gargoyles. mainly gargoyles and like rune dragons. Those. All right. Those oh, yeah. Let's, let's so stick they to reset the, the biggest table. ones. Okay. Yeah. They reset it and just be like, okay, no longer are there stupid alcohol drops on there. It's just. I had that idea, right? And right shit on me for it, man. No, I did. No, no, I didn't shit on you for it. It's not. It's not even an idea. It's not even an idea. I'm just curious what Rice thinks because I know he knows stuff about this. Like, what would actually happen in terms of our economy and also i mean on the other side there would just be the, yeah okay answer that part first yeah there I'll would, the there would just though. be a lot less gp coming to the game which is nice because there's just not as many so not everything is overpriced you know what i'm saying so like, items would go way up in price if that was the case no like, it would, would it would actually go down in price because not every, because things wouldn't be so overly inflated you know what i'm saying because there's less gold yeah, because there's less gold in the game Right? Like, think about it this right. way. What, five years ago, I don't know if it's exactly true, but like, let's say five years ago, one mil GP. Are you drinking your beers already? It's nowhere. <laughs> it's oh, yeah, way. Man. It's way more valuable than one mil in in, in this in this yes. you know, day and age. Because yes. you know why inflation? Because nowadays we have gargoyles and rune dragons that shits out constant GP, and and it's not going away anywhere really. 
Only it's so, only so, slowly going away through GP things, right? So. Well, the the thing is, like that. <clears throat> explain to me what the end game here is for this, because, like, as time progresses, items yeah. are inevitably going to go up in value. The armadillo crossbow. Well, it would it would go up in value be... because of inflation mainly. You know what I mean? Right, but is because there a of... ceiling to that? What happens when everything's the price of max cash? Because that's cash called RuneScape three. That's well, yeah, happens. that that just it just becomes not so. Uh, it, I mean, I don't know, bro. It's we've never reached well, that point. It, all right, I'll be honest look, with you. Look at, look at RuneScape, but 3, it just wouldn't be very right? really stable because everything is so overly inflated. Right, that right. having a max cash doesn't mean. Sh really Min, a whole before lot, you say so. your part, what I'm about to say is so. what we were just discussing about them releasing information about how much GP is in the game and comes in on a daily basis. I think if that information did come out to the community, somebody could literally figure out like what the price of certain items should be, and it could be a case of like. Bandos no, taxi. I don't think so. No, you should be paying two hundred mil for bad stuff. I don't think so. For how many like... in the game, <laughs> and how many of those items are in the game? But it, it, it's true, right? It's no, like, I don't think what, you could what, actually what predict happens? it to that level. No. Maybe I don't okay. know. These no, virtues that's, are that's crazy. Way too... What could they do with info? Right? I feel like. This is what they, they, they I mean, they can't do a whole lot with that, man, because everybody oh, knows like, about it. Everybody so knows. It's not merchers so much. It's just like the whoops is like realizing shit. A fucking, you know, a dragon fire shield is five mil. In reality, with how rare it is and stuff, like it should be fifty. Or like no, not like that. Like no, no, that's not. That's not what. What, a, knowing what about that this would idea? Do. All right. That's what not, if they take that, all the, the price GP, right that comes in the game, and they're yeah. like, okay, so this is how much money people have to spend today. And this is how much I control the market because those merchants have bills bank. So they buy out a certain item and uh, they could control that market easier if they knew the GP amount. Right? Well, no, 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 no. You, you don't understand what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Because like well, what, the what, price, saying, what the price of an item is, that's determined by supply and demand. That's what you see in the GE and what people <laughs> usually trade for. That's the price. There, it, it's, not, it's not the fake price. That is the price. That is the Sometimes price. The fake There's price, no, you know, you know what I mean? Like, unless it's a new item that's very limited, like the new, you know, nightmare <laughs> stuff. What you see on the, in the GE is typically the price, right? Like a Dragon Fire Shield, if it's five mil, it is five mil. It's not like just because you know how much GP enters this game that all of a sudden the price changes. It doesn't because that's just supply and demand. You know what I mean? That's just all right. It's, okay. It's, yeah, you, yeah. All right. One second. So, yeah. Re, what happens? Like the the thing is, it it makes me it. What's the solution for this? Like, because the thing is, with economy and yeah, life, I'll be honest with you. We, we don't have an we don't have an answer for yeah, but there's yeah, no yeah, answer yeah, for yeah, yeah. in real life, is there? there well, well like, no, there is there right? is no objective answer because it's really it's really a, a more of a cultural ease, like sense of ease. Like, let's say, like in in, in real life, I'll give you an example. In real life, most most countries, like you know, most established, like you know. First world countries, they like to have an inflation rate of about something like 2% or so. It's like less than 5%. Most countries prefer a yearly inflation rate of less than 5%. That means, for example, your $1 this year, hopefully by next year, is only, will, will, will be about one, you know, f uh, 95 cents. Yeah, 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 something like that, right? Okay. Your $1 now will be worth about 95 cents next year that's, that's why like if you put your money in the stock market yeah. it'll like yeah raise so with the, so with it, it's really about stability right because like what what happens if one dollar this year ends up being 50 cents next year right because it would be a massive drop right you because like that 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 would mean twice the amount of money is being created to next year which is insane because like you just lost half the value of your, of your money if that makes yeah. sense so it's like a little too crazy so like in the real world, they just want it to be a slow and small inflation, so that way people don't panic. You know what I mean? Because like their value right. this year I, it won't I, be too different from next year. That's yes. What it is. However, that seems like quite a temporary solution to the overall big. No, because there's no yeah. solution. Yeah. There's, there's no real the solution. Inflation, but what I'm getting to is yeah. eventually the inflation will get worse and worse. As yeah, yeah, yeah. Investors. But it's about the rate. It's about the ease. You know what I mean? The right. comfort. Yeah, I got, I got a sweet. So wait. Are you saying that it gives us more time to figure out what to do when it hits that point? No, 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 because it's not really, it? it's not, there's no real permanent solution. It's just about keeping it, things stable in the long run. Because like, because like eventually, whatever, but like we might not make it. We might not live to see that day, right? Where, Economists where have been having this argument for so, years. Yeah, there's years. no, there's no real so, solution. So the difference with 
RuneScape and obviously real life right now when it comes to inflation and economy is that in real life there are like set limits to how much money can be printed per year per country kind of right? kind of kind of yeah for the most part unless yeah. it's a stupid country or it's like germany back in world war ii when they fucked everything up right regardless in Those runescape crazy times. yeah in runescape it's like there is nothing really stopping that creation of wealth because the high alcohol table there on, there like, is the drops and there stuff is like because that. jagus could really you know adjust the drop tables to kind of well, like, it's up to them, right? I'm not saying there's a correct solution. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If we knew how much money was coming to the game relative to how much leaves the game, then we could see just how crazy some of these updates have mm. impacted the the money. How much money, I, right? I guess for me, I just, I want to know, like, what the impact of this continuing would be. Like, oh, the okay, long I'll, run. Yeah, if, say, in 10 example, years, yeah. it continues like this. Uh -huh. What will the game right, look like right. in 10 years? It's, it's, uh, well, it's it, my turn to talk here, Okay, right? yeah, so, yeah, man, you can talk, yeah. <laughs> RuneScape 3, how long has that been out? Since, like, 20 years, 2000? Baby. Yeah, 20, 20 years. So yeah. That's more Same than 20 economy. years. Almost, so you got yeah. two times your question here, because you got things riding out price, like DFSs, uh, certain spirit shields, god swords. That's what happens. Pretty much things just become out price when uh, the economy just... Well, that long, kinda, right? yeah, kinda, because like those items became outpriced because they were almost. And useless, then certain items be would become built, right? Because it's the rarity versus GP amount is pretty much the question. All right, right? well, I'll give, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, that's not fully true because in R three, the reason why spare shields and dragon fire shields are worth out price well, or whatever shitty, is because right, they're useless, right. pretty much. They're, yeah. they're almost useless in that game because there's new and better items, which is I feel like it's a different thing altogether i just think but that's how runescape's going right now right? yeah yeah that's Newer power creep and stuff time. yeah but but i'm not uh, talking about that because i'm just talking about gp you know what i'm saying well yeah but the dfs so. is like four mil now it used to be 20 plus yeah, used to be yeah the because shield, then it got replaced yeah. the the draft right? fire shield just isn't that useful compared to so like over time it's gonna stuff. get closer and closer to out value because yeah but that's not because of money. necessarily inflation no you're right you know? you're right yeah so it's like you know what i'm saying those are like two different things that obviously they have there is a relationship but but yeah it's really hard to say because like what i'm saying isn't like oh there is an ever-pressing issue that you know there's too much going in the game i'm just saying if we know how much goes in the game gp wise and how much leaves the game then we can see just how crazily prices uh, are being impacted by it i guess right like let's say inflation rates 50 percent a year which means that your 100 mil this year is only 50 mil next year, right? Like that's just that that shows us in a way that man, we there's way too much fucking gold coming to the game every year that we don't really need because all it's doing is driving up prices of things to a, to a crazy degree that we don't need need it to. I feel like you know? more of a it, it's there's too there's much a gold. Gap between... There's just too much gold. You know. I want to know when do I yeah. need to stock holds? Tacits and stuff, and it's just going to be. Nah, that, that's not that. That's not coins so, that's are not worthless. What, what, you just trade basically. a bandos tacit, yeah. for like ten thousand lobs. Yeah, because like that's the only trading that happens, yeah. dude. <laughs> Good, yeah. yeah, for real. Like supply is like Sanfrus hit fifty k each. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Like that's that's just a symptom that's of inflation, of the nightmare bro, boss, You know, dude. I mean, there's the man like parasites. Yeah, one sip of mm -hmm. Sanfrus was worth more than a glory. Yeah. Mm. Dude, right. glories back in the day used to be. I remember at a time I played at a time when glories, when I first became members, were 120k. Okay, yeah. that's how much a glory yeah. was back in my day. A glory was 120k. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I I don't know. We've we've gone too much into a tangent, but I, I'm just. It's not it's not a real like problem per se because it's not objective at all. It's just something that you know in in the back of our heads it just feels uncomfortable if there's. Well, yeah. If inflation so, rates going too high, you know what I'm saying. The reason the reason so. I ask Ray really, is because I know that you're a very big um like you're very big on them changing the high alk tables for Vorkaf, uh, for Zora. Basically, the high alkables. You moan a lot about gargoyles. So my question to you is: if they don't change anything in five or ten years' time, how do you think that will affect the game and how it currently is and how we will actually be? Well, you'll all well, you you'll just get a sense of everything being so uberly high price, except for like stuff like you know, uh, equipment that just doesn't have much use. That's kind of where pretty it ties much. In. Yeah, it's like um, like your potions and shit. 
items that go out of the game, yeah, potions will be up here, and then items that don't leave the game, like down here. Yeah. You know? And the only thing that's going to differ is if they have an alk price. That's where they're going to stay around. Well, these don't have an alk like they alk for shit, but they're coming out of the game, right? Yeah. At an alarming rate, they're just going to keep shooting up. I mean, our economy is basically held up by the uh, the alk price. If it wasn't for the alk price, God knows what shit would be worth. Which is crazy because alking. I don't think I've seen it in any other MMO, right? There's not really... This is kind of a thing only RuneScape's really capitalized on, mm. and it holds the economy in a certain area. But there aren't many... There well, aren't well many not like it, I don't think it holds the economy so more so. I think players. it's just... Most MMOs trading's pretty common. It's not... It's Dude, it's not as common as day-to-day -day on RuneScape, man. Yeah. And they like, have also, they're, like they're... the GE and World of Warcraft. Dude, kind of like it, in, in World Warcraft, in EVE Online, in Guild Wars, etc., like, the majority of the time when you're going to be spending big gold pieces, which is the currency they more than likely use, is when you're buying something from an NPC. Like, something yeah. like, whether it be, like, a mount, or something, like, super rare, which, which costs loads. That or, like, you're buying a material. Price, right? yeah. Or something like that. Like, like I know that in Guild Wars 2, it's like to get the legendary weapons, you have to buy these like legendary crafting materials. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you buy them from an NPC for like millions of gold, and that game is hard to get that gold. Yeah. So like a lot of the money, that's the gold sink. Like it's yeah. the cycle. Like that's the inflation. They, but the yeah, like to add to your question, right? I like I don't know. We can keep going on this, but like basically, as the years go by, if you know the alcohol volume is the way it is. You're gonna feel like your sense of GP. You're 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 gonna feel that your max cash isn't really worth max cash. It's gonna not feel like that. It's gonna feel rather inexpensive in a way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I I'll tell you something right now. This is a discussion I'd love the chat to get involved with as well. Is um, <clears throat> I think about this all the time. As a normal main account playing this game in PVM in 2020. The reality of it is, is once you hit that four to five build bank nowadays with the new items that have came You're out, done, right? yeah. you have everything. It's like yeah, you have much. the scythe, you have the rapier, you have the spirit shield set, you have the twisted bow, every God War dungeon piece, every raid item, and you have all of the orbs and the staff and the armor set that's came out recently. You're done, okay? Mm -hmm. For me, I find it's very demotivating once you have all of that stuff to continue playing. And obviously there are yeah, other same. goals which people enjoy like maxing their accounts. For me personally, that's not so much a big goal and something I enjoy. I can give you an example right now of something I used to love, which was back on the old servers. When you got rich, and if you were in a position where you had every item you'd ever need in game, what would you do with that money that you had left over? Gamble. I'll tell you what you'd do. You could gamble, you could PK, but most importantly, you would put that money into those discontinued party hats, Santa hats, red Halloween masks, discs of returning, pumpkins, no, I'm with you there. all of that stuff, there. right? It's like, I wish so bad every day. I think about this all the time. I wish there was a discontinued, and I know it's super controversial, but I really wish there was something for us to invest our money in as a main account once you have that certain amount of money. Something Great. which is like a long-term investment that will go up, but it's like, how do they implement that? And like, I just want it. Like, you've no idea. Like back in the day, I'll tell you this. If you had 10 party hat sets back in the old servers, there was no such thing as I'm done. It was like, time to get 11. And then when you get 11, time, time to get 12. <laughs> because, because you knew how rare they were. Do, do you know what I mean? Well, like, it's too late now because people know the inevitableness of a limited dude, edition oh, item. You guys, so. you guys remember, yeah. Do you guys remember like when so. old school had rares in it not like back then but i'm talking about the servers now when old like they just peered on the floor and you would go and pick it up and you yeah, could sell yeah. for like four mil now if they yeah, just yeah. did that for a couple weeks and then never had it again well we they would that means that they right would have now. to lie though that's the thing jaggers would have to lie so no, i mean i'm not lie. they just say in before it's like these are going to be limited right no they because... said they never wanted this continue yeah items. i know i'm just saying if so, they did that the, yeah, the yeah. only if they said only if they said this is going to be limited time after they did it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That would have been perfect. Yeah. The thing is, like, yeah. for me personally, Only that was part of what made RuneScape so magical back I'm in the day. Was the fact that you could get, like, a party hat was, like, the end game. It wasn't a dragon chain body in Infinity Boots. It was a party hat or a Santa hat. It, like, had its own value. And it wasn't just, like, a you know, monetary value. It was, like, that is an item 
and there will never be another one of those that is created. That yeah, is and, 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 and by the way, it'll be a symbol of inflation because how, how much it goes up basically kind of just indicates like how fast it goes up indicates how, how crazy the inflation rate is in a way. I mean, I'm almost so, tempted just like I, if there yeah. was a petition and they put it out. Here's the question for the chat leading off of that. If Jagex put out a poll right now saying, guys, every rare item, party hat, Easter egg, all of the stuff that we just spoke about, if they could flick a switch and make it so those items would never come back in the game, how many of you watching this this podcast would say yes? And how many of you guys would say no? I'd be down. Because again. I'm kind of down to say yes even though spark mac probably controls like it's probably a small <laughs> percentage of the market but it's still probably like over one percent i'd assume or maybe less maybe i'm way off but he he would be filthy rich but i think that he's he so i think that he'd be so bored of being so rich that he would just have to give them out and i think eventually that it would just filter down and it would basically level out yeah, but i think there'd fucked. be so many it's too fucked I think there'd now, be so, so many of them <laughs> But is it is it too late? Is it ever it's too, too late? late. It's too oh, late. it's way too late. It's way too late. What what about in like oh they it's need to way do too late. man? It's like, way too that's late. the thing. I would be so much more motivated to play my main account if there what? was something I could go for after having all the items. I like I look at I look at Ree's bank. I watched his stream the other day and he's got like ten ancestral sets. And I'm like, you rich motherfucker, you got like yeah. max cash like ten times. Yeah, fucking I, rage I dropped three bill though. <laughs> I know, I saw that video. But like I was watching it and I was like it looks cool, but then it's not having a party hat set. Yeah, it's just it's having not, the same shit over and not, over it's again. Not, it's not a party well, hat. Well, Rixie, we got really good artists in Rune. And I mean, back then, those artists, they were fucking nostalgic, right? The party hat symbols. But I'm sure they could make something that would just pique our interest just as much. The question is, how do they put them All in right, the game? Alright, bro. The only closest rare. thing that could happen is if Jagus decides to say, hey, look, we're going to make this continue stuff now. And then what they do is they create these things like party hats and then they just randomly spawn it in the world for like a month and that's it right whoever what got about? it got it that's what it about? randomly spawning well, would be wait dope. yeah there's more than one way to make discontinued things that are worth money right i always think about pokemon okay because after what every set fuck? of pokemon cards ccg <laughs> they're discontinued no no no, no seriously full this, is a, this is full circle. this is a genuine comparison right when it okay. comes to Pokemon cards, after every single set on the TCG, and if you don't know what TCG is, it's trading oh, card, yep. right? Trading so, card game. If, for example, every single boss, every single update the Jagex come up with, Get what if there was like, like a limited amount of something that that boss or skill could pr provide to players, and there was a real limited amount of items that came from that, which were separate, like, so the, the recent boss, imagine if there was a thousand items, which were all the same, God knows what it could be, and it could only come into the game a thousand times to a thousand different players, and it could be given out in very different ways, um, I prefer and then, then it was done, you know what I mean? Spawn. And then the next thing, I don't know. Because that's a sick idea. What if, like, every monster in the game dropped 10 rares, but that's it, right? But it's rare. Like, fucking rare. Only 10 each. Goblins, Bandos, whatever. And they all had a different rarity. And you'd just be going around killing. It drops. Boom. Only 9 in the game now. And then once it's cleared, it's gone. And then it would just, everyone would be doing everything they could. Right? Say even trees. You know, you cut in a maze tree, party at pops on the floor or something, dude. But if it's only 10 for every item, it should have, like, enough in the game to make them rare. Oh, yeah. And I mean, would... uh, sure. I mean, if they, if they're willing to put in the effort. I, I just think randomly spawning yeah, it in some location for a month I like the fine. spawning thing, too. Because it's simple, they... and they don't have to spend a billion years coding well, it, probably. <laughs> weren't they spawning in PvP world, and people would start PKing people? <laughs> in PvP world trying to get the shit I and guess, maybe. Grab I don't know, bro. Like a limited they, amount, right? They would spawn a limited amount in, in like a month, and then what you get is what you get. Because party oh, yeah. ads back that'd then be, were like 3 cool. mil each. I got a blue one doing a farm, so. and I was so excited. Like, like I, I, I will say this. There's more than one way to make a discontinued thing have value, and I'm just simply going off of trading. Yeah, 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 so yeah the way Because I've studied the trading Excuse card me. market for Pokemon extensively because i i've got some money invested there yeah. and it's like i want to make sure i'm not investing money in stupid places but still it's like you can look at the market and you can see that there's stuff they bring out they they're printing pokemon right, you can see, go down to your you can go down to your game shop right now and buy a pokemon pack yeah uh, and how, those how cards right now <laughs> what is it an onyx let me have a look it's an onyx isn't it that's I a new one i got it from me i got it from mcdonald's 
Oh, it's a McDonald's one. It's a McDonald's one, bro. Am I rich? Do you think? It might be worth money in 10 years. Yo, it's bro, bro. It's how, how about this Moltres uh, tin, bro? It's a <laughs> promo <laughs> card, man. I don't it's have any Pokemon around yeah. me. Actually, I keep, these are all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, though. Fuck. Dude, I keep my <laughs> Pokemon good, card no, no, in no. either my safe or inside <laughs> of an air in an airtight <laughs> container. I'm not even kidding. Yo, but yo, like the, we're, the we're so off Pokemon. track. We're so off track. No, 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 we're, we're not, because it's <laughs> well, 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 RuneScape. Well, first, before you go into that, check it. You know, what do you think about my wallet, bro? Look at this. You, know, you like that shit? What do you think about <laughs> right, that? Man, you're, you're such a weeb. <laughs> 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 hey, you fucking it's asshole. Uh, <laughs> Look, you got... Dude, it's old school art, man. Check that shit out. Old school, bro. Look at that bay leaf in the background. You see that shit? Dude, yeah, that is cool. Season that two, cool. baby. Gen two, baby. But what I'm trying to get at, right, is like... I, I'm trying to draw a Bring comparison here, back it might be difficult for you to really get it, but listen, <laughs> they have discontinued products with Pokemon every single couple of months, right? Because well, they yeah, only Pokemon's print so many of them than the stock. 100%. They beat us every time. Right. right. There's no comparison. They're better. But I'm talking about the way that they implement these discontinued items. Sometimes they'll be worth a lot of money, and other times they're not worth any money. But they are consistently sets that are worth a lot of money even to this day in 2020 the charizard over the past five years charizard obviously charizard is charizard it always has a it has like a premium above the any other pokemon card. card the most expensive cards charizard by far ev for all the girls that like pokemon pikachu and there's a few Radicate. others that people like Pika. people, people collect it. like specific pokemon and they go for all of them across i the collect pidgeys I like, I like okay, big okay, okay, okay. But, um, <laughs> right, uh, what I'm trying to get at is that the Jagex could genuinely do something where every they big could. release. Uh, imagine if once a year Jagex released a boss or something. It could be a skill boss, it could be anything. What? One time, no, a just a very... one time, bro. It's just it's a one time thing. Yeah, what are you anyway. talking about? Once a year, new no, boss? No, 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 one time, one time. No, 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 but that doesn't years? necessarily just have to be like one rare discontinued item in the game. It could be multiple discontinued items, some of which will have a high value, such as like the first edition Charizard and the Charizards in general, and, and some of them could have right? a really shitty value. Like and like a lot lower down, but it's still uh, discontinued. That's too much, man. I feel like they should just do a few items and then that and then they spawn it for a month. Well, and that's we need it. They need <laughs> okay, to hire right, a whole yeah. any, department for this yeah. shit. Right? Anyways. Running. People watching the podcast, what do you guys think? I'm going to even pull my mic in camera. Poor dudes. I've given like what, 20 what, what do you think? Got... <laughs> what do you think? W would you like to see some old school RuneScape rares, discontinued rares? That We're going to get a some gold to go fat for? paragraphs yes. down below, dude. Just... Dude, I want to know what people have to say because I okay, think about for, this all the time. For every I'd yes... love to be grinding a party out Yeah, right for now. every no yes idea. to that question, like the video. For every no, also like the video. Thank you. No, I'd be real. <laughs> I'd, I'd start grinding money for one too. I just want uh, me one. Too, me too, me right, too. I would too. But You're an just, Iron Man, you don't get none. It's, it's how they no, implement what? it, right? And I think that looking at other games and looking at how other rares and valuable items which are discontinued, whether it be a game or Pokemon cards. What if you die with those rare items? Back to Well, then somebody else gets them. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> let's finish the gravestones. We are almost done, all right? We don't want to get on a space tangent. Yeah, we're already right? in an hour, so we got to finish this so up. Let's, let's speed run this bitch here, all right? What do we got here? If I what die again, I'm looting my gravestone. Um, so I talked about this before. If you die and you have not looted your gravestone before, um, your gravestone will either move spots if it's close enough, or if it's too far, it'll just revert back to the oldest area. So if you died in God Wars and then you died in Lumbridge, your shit's going to still be a God Wars. They don't want you uh, getting around that. So, yeah. I think that's it, right? Is there anything else? Yeah, fresh 15 minutes. Um, I think there one more thing they, I, that we were going to go into is that if you die a lot at certain bosses, they want to... Uh, make it cost more after like five or ten deaths i think that's like a little down right yeah right here what about Dude, all i'm yeah. gonna say is i'm punished far too much already at armadillo when i die <laughs> i don't think there should be a punishment <laughs> well that's not armor we're talking about like zora cap where you, you gotta just make it so you keep your chins on you don't pay for zora do you no do you pay, wait this. do you do you not pay for zoras it's still not yeah you've you never had zora. to pay for zora they you, never yeah, changed yeah. that really mm-hmm Yikes, man. What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> I don't know. They need to do something for Zora. I thought fucked. they changed it. I thought they put like 100k on it. Did they not do that? Like a year ago? Here, you scroll. Keep scrolling down. Dude. I think we've covered everything, though. Yeah, we've covered. I think all these are not that 
specific because like <laughs> yeah we talked about it a little another bit. another thing there. is if uh they want it they would think maybe also doing death's office in our street because like that's what i'm talking about just one guy holds all your shit for a certain amount of time and you pay a, a percentage fee but yeah, yeah it's whatever they can do it the old school way where you have to go to that place where you die i'm fine with that too you know that clear things up here but could uh, you go yeah. to the table that shows the um yeah uh yeah you know what i'm talking about yeah 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 yeah. i'll find is it, it up there. here in, uh, right here uh nope i thought it had it should it. have a its own table like it should just be like an actual like i swear if I yeah right here it's like um scroll down a bit i can't see it on the discord though i'm trying to find it to be honest it's a long ad they they took their time they gotta shorten this shit up they need to hire someone that can summarize dude all right or make a yeah, video there used to be a table but like i don't know where it is pay me a one one thousand a week I'll, I'll make a video every time they update boom dude i don't know where it is anymore what in the fuck right you can't find the table oh, no it's not man. there look i'm scrolling all the way they, down maybe they took it out all... maybe they yeah, took, they it, took out. it out yeah That's i think they so took it weird. out what the hell he took out the fuck you know what I think I that was think too controversial. Oh, let's do the change log because they probably said we're getting rid of it. They must have deleted it. Yeah, they did. They did. What are they? What are they? Because uh, these are the change logs. So these are the things that they edited out in the past like two weeks. So, uh, hold on. Uh, Iron Place Express control over how they get cash to pay. No, I don't like that. That's bullshit. That's just that whole whining. first paragraph we've already read all that shit. Well, this is the change log. We we didn't go over it. Yeah. Um, Hold on, I'm looking through it right now, boys. By the way, a little bit of off off the topic right now. Do any of you guys know who Asmund Gold's uh, girlfriend is? No idea. Uh, really watch him. Oh, if you don't, no, do you, you need to get to know. Oh my god. I mean, I know who dude, he is. She's but... a fine, fine piece of ass, dude. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, leave his Come lady alone. Stop, stop, bro. <laughs> dude, the kids, the no, I, dude, you listen, gotta show her your Charizard. Mate, get the I'm fuck not, out listen, of here, bro. Listen, I don't follow her, but I follow Asmund, and he likes her pictures. And when he likes a picture of his girlfriend in just a thong, it's hard not to look, okay? And what like, the fuck? Is he dating a Patreon down. girl? What the hell? Dude, she's one of... What's that? What's that website which all the the e fonts are now on? No, uh, on, only fans, only, only fans. fans. Oh. Right, hold one? up. Like, listen, when this pops up in your timeline, if you show this for the um for the podcast, a hundred percent we get a million views. When they show that, when that pops up on my 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 feed on Twitter. I don't not click. No, don't actually <laughs> show it, you muppet. Dude. <laughs> the I gotta delete this shit. Man. Oh, shit. Are we gonna get copyright strike? Wait, you how did that, that show shit? up? She needs some better carpet, see, bro. Do you see that shit, though? Like, how that am carpet. I supposed to not look at it? It's like, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm only human. It's just a big yeah. butt, you know? Rigsby just wants to talk about her ass. He's like, yeah, how okay, can I talk okay. about Anyways. her ass? Still sound like a good guy. Anyways, I'm, I'm only human, but look at his I've just got, like, I've got hardcore man deaths. Pyro Polly getting a Dragon Warhammer. Oh, never mind. And These then I just got pictures of are, asses uh, on my Twitter. That's weird. I swear right. they had like the drop table. I, I think yeah, they no, they used to, bro. It's yeah. gone. But like basically, it was something like, oh, you die like the first five times. You barely paid anything. You paid something. I didn't it was know very they could small. edit shit out of updates. That's something they should probably tell us. Jesus Christ. I've well, never well seen I mean, this is not an update. This is just a blog. So they, oh, not an update, but a blog, you know? They always do that, but. Oh, I never do. No, but I yeah, no, I don't remember. I think it's like after 10 times or something, they were like... So I guess mm -hmm. they got rid of it because it's not there anymore. <laughs> well, sorry, guys. You don't get a table now. Yeah, um, I guess they're just not interested in that idea anymore or people were shooting well, it down, I guess. Rex, you got any other ass cheeks to show or should we uh, swindle this bad boy over? Yeah, I, I don't have any more ass cheeks, sadly. Yeah, maybe next podcast come for more ass cheeks. Yeah, that's some nice ass cheeks, though. Uh... Well, guys, hope you learned a lot. Okay, so um, they so they only they're oh, only doing yeah, it for yeah. for Zora, my my guys. So so they said, uh, let me see, where is it? Uh, they basically said, uh, if you have a Zora account of fifty, you'll you'll have to pay hundred k. But if you don't, then you don't pay. Oh, so until you get that amount, then you'll start doing. Yeah, it. but the, but it's only for Zora apparently. I thought they charged like fifty deaths so apparently they're doing if you get a bunch of kills wait wait it says it says matching what is made at warcat yeah yeah because you, like you lose 100k like if you die at warcat like so that they're that saying those are exceptions kills. yeah those are exceptions yeah. so zora is an exception yeah. there's the 50 kill thingy mm -hmm. it's weird i thought it would apply to everything but it does not that only applies yeah. to zora 
So that's okay, it. I think that's, that, I think it. that's good. I think yeah. that's a really good as well. 50 kills. Like, by the time you get 50 kills at either of those bosses, if you don't know how to kill it without dying, like, there's no hope for you. Yeah, it's but only Resolver. Most people will get it by that time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, everything else is extraneous, you know, to be honest. So. Yeah. Extraneous? Yeah, it's like. Uh, Ooh, not, extraneous. Necessary. not necessary, I think. I, I'm not even sure anymore what that word means anymore, but whatever. Extraneous. I like it, man. Extraneous. Oh, are you teaching Rakesy? Never teach Rakesy. Right? He yeah. always comes out with a word every podcast. I'm going to hear this word like 40 times. We don't get right? it. Me and Mike don't get it. Extraneous. What do you mean, Mike? I know this word. Unrelated to the <laughs> subject. Dude, that is a cool word, man. I want to. You're it extraneous. <laughs> it says irrelevant or unrelated to the subject being dealt with. Every time Rakesy doesn't know something. I want to use that to roast someone, man. That's <laughs> Every awesome time you are Rakesy extraneous. doesn't know something, he ropes me in. Yeah, me and Mike don't know about it. All right, guys. If you, if you guys like my dude. my weekly vocab, uh, my <laughs> next tour, time, next like time the someone comes in my chat and says something stupid, I'm gonna say your opinion is extraneous, and they're gonna be like, "Whoa, what does that word mean?" And they're gonna they're gonna go, "Oh my god, I just got destroyed." <laughs> like you are, li it's like you're literally irrelevant. Bro, here's another good one. <laughs> when you call someone like yo, you, like you're uh, man, there's some dude on the YouTube comments, bro. He roasted the hell out of somebody. He's like, "Yo, dude, you're you're obtuse." Like dingus obtuse, or something. Yeah, obtuse. I'm like, damn, what is that? <laughs> what is that for like the size of something. Obtuse yeah, is like really yeah, it's so small. it's crazy, dude. When he said that to the that guy, I was like, joke? bro, that's insane, dude. He just his career got no, destroyed. No, obtuse, I think, is really big, and acute is really small. Acute is something which is tiny. Right, yeah. Cute. Yeah, I like the video. Uh, obtuse, I, I think obtuse, obtuse is really ah. big. Yeah. Possibly, I don't know, yeah. dude. It's, it's just hilarious when someone roasted a guy with that word. <laughs> when you're inside a woman and be like, wow, it's really obtuse in here. You know, it's a bad thing, right? No? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, it's uh, okay, it's it's time to wrap up, boys? Yeah. Well, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Guys. Great. Leave your comments podcast. down, bro. Feedback. The last podcast, we almost got 200 views. Uh, sorry, 200 likes. <laughs> Woohoo! 200 <laughs> views, baby! We yeah! didn't. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't reach our like goal, which was, what was it? Was it one like 1, for every- 1,000. Was it one like for every two views or something like that? It was something pretty, you know, I felt like we Cowards. were going to get it. Yeah, if you somehow watch it. through all the rants and Pokemon conversation, then yeah, you, you drop it. You're a god, right? Either way. you're a god. Got it. Got also, it. guys, guys, if you've made it this far into the podcast, let us know by typing in extraneous <laughs> down in the comments right now be like a and just write a it if you know i just have the word extraneous know, if anybody has watched the podcast this long type extraneous down in the comments and let us know we will you heart you okay, okay? Yeah. we will heart you so you better do it and also like the right Rigsy, when you were gone getting beer, I kept having chat questions. So, <laughs> oh, they're gonna have so many to answer. <laughs> <laughs> I had like four. You know, be here. Okay. All right. All right. And for like, every like interaction, we heart it? the video. We will heart your video. It doesn't mean anything other than we heart your video. But do it. Just, just do just it. Just hit the X. Don't even watch this video no more. Worst outro, guys. It was All right. fun. Okay. Bye, okay. Sure. Three, two, one. Bye bye.